Hi fellow DIYers! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a football helmet gift box. I got the SVG file from Etsy. I put the link in my description box. Follow along with me while I make this nice football helmet that is perfect for the upcoming Super Bowl. So let's get started! Open your Design Space app, click Upload, Upload Image, then Browse. I have the SVG file saved on my desktop. So I'm gonna click this folder, click the SVG file folder, then click this one that has score lines. Then here just click Upload, then click the image that we just uploaded, then Add to Canvas. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll notice that this is something that I like to do. I use a template in order for me to maximize the size of cardstock. So I'm going to click Shapes, and then the square one. Then I'll change the color to light green. And then I'll change the size to 11.5 by 11.5, since I'm going to be using 12 by 12 cardstock. I'm going to right click, and then send to back. And then we're going to maximize the size of this long rectangle one to the size of our cardstock or our mat. We don't need this square anymore, so we're going to delete that. And then click on group. Now we can separate the pieces. And then we're going to change the operation to score. Click the first helmet. Then here, select these two lines that say basic cut and change the operation to score. Click this one, which then will highlight the score lines and the piece. And then click attach. And then repeat this step until we change all the lines to score lines. And then here, the square one, we just need the square inside, so just click that, and then change the operation to score. And then these long blue lines, they have lines that need to be changed to score. We can't really see them from here, but they're there. And don't forget to attach. Now I'm just double checking if I missed anything. Since I'm planning to make some logos to put on the helmet, I'm going to hide them for now. Then click make it. Now as we can see here, we have four different mats. I'm just adjusting their position. You can skip this step. So the first three mats have the same color and the fourth mat has a different color. I'm going to use black for that one because that's the face mask of the helmet. 
Then here, click medium cardstock, and I always adjust the pressure to more whenever I cut cardstock. I'm going to use a combination of tacky glue and a hot glue. First thing we're going to do with the pieces is pre-fold the scored lines. And here we need to cut the corner. And then cut a slit in the middle. And then do the same thing to the other piece. And then here we're going to cut all four corners of this one. This is going to be the base of the box.
We can see the score line here. We have to align that to the top of the box. And here I would suggest to glue it a little closer around the circle because what I did here, I had some excess glue that I had to wipe off. I'm just using a hot glue on this side because I noticed with a white all-purpose glue, it leaves some visible wrinkly areas. Now I'm just securing it with some more hot glue. This top piece will go around the top of the helmet. It has two score lines that we need to pre-fold. We'll cut this section right here. and as well as the other side. This will help us glue this piece to the sides of the helmet. Now when putting this piece, you want to make sure to start at the front, going your way to the back. Now carefully put some glue to the sides. Now it's done, it's time for us to put the face mask part of the helmet. These four pieces have score lines that we need to pre-fold. Then attach these two pieces together like so.
Now when attaching this face mask to the sides, I'm just going to use a little bit of this glue first so we can put this piece in place before we actually glue both of the sides. It's up to you how you want the distance of the top of the helmet to the top part of the face mask. Mine is around half inch. Now I'm just securing the sides with some more hot glue. Now we can cut the excess. Now we're done with the helmet, we can do the logo. I downloaded mine from Google and I have it saved on my desktop. So open your Design Space app. Click Upload, Upload Image, and then Browse. Click your logo, click Simple, and then Continue. Then here, remove the background. Since my background is transparent, I don't really have to do anything, so Apply and Continue. Click Print, then Cut Image. Click Upload. And I'm going to upload another one. Click Browse, and then the other logo, and then Simple, and then Continue. And this one I have to remove the background by using the Select Wand and selecting the background. And then click Apply and Continue, and then Print, then Cut Image, and then Upload. And then click the two images that we just uploaded, then Add to Canvas. Then here we're going to resize the logos according to the size of the part of the helmet that you want to put them on. In my case, I'm going to resize the width to 4 inches. And for this one, I'm planning to use the offset feature. I'm going to use a cardstock for the offset and apply the sticker to the top of the cardstock. I'm just changing the color. This step is not necessary. Click Make It. Click Send to Printer. Then I'll leave the Add Bleed on so that when my machine cuts the sticker, it will not show any white areas. Now it's done printing. Although I'm using a sticker paper, I'm going to set my material to washi sheet. Because I noticed when I used this for my Avery sticker paper, it didn't cut through the back of the paper. And then I'm going to set the pressure to less. I'm going to use this excess cardstock for the offset.
And there we have it! Isn't this perfect for the upcoming Super Bowl and Valentine's Day? It makes a great gift box for your partners, your dad, or your kids. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. All feedback is welcome and any feedback is good feedback. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. See you in the next episode of DIY by Sess. Thanks for watching!